Hello everyone, I'm Rohit and this is a complete new series I'm going to start called Process Automation which will mainly contain that Flow Designer and Integration Hub. So whoever does not know about Flow Designer or they know basic about the Flow Designer and they want to know more about the Flow Designer and Integration Hub, they should watch this series. Also before starting this series, I am assuming that you have seen the my service no admin series as well as you have a basic knowledge about scripting although this uh, series does not have much scripting but uh, there will be certain area where we are going to write some small scripting part so i am assuming that you have admin knowledge and as well as you have basic scripting knowledge so first thing we are going to talk about in today's class that what is the flow designer and where we can use that. So this is our day one sessions and in this session we will talk about that what is the flow designer. So flow designer is a graphical representation that is mainly designed for the process owner with the low code and much more flexibility. Where we can reuse our component like action in multiple flow. So this is, you know, that similar kind of a workflow where we can use um, our actions to the multiple flow for automate our process. Now, second question is that where we can use this flow designer. So as we know that the flow designer is something similar to the workflow. So service now recommending that um, not to use workflow anymore for the new catalog item, use the flow designer for the new catalog item. There are some bugs in the flow designer, but still service now recommending that for new catalog item use the flow designer. But they are not going to stop the workflow soon, but they are recommending to use the flow designer. So first thing or first uh, use case is that in the new catalog item, we can use the flow designer. Secondly, for automation, we can do the flow designer. Like where we have the business rule, where we have any kind of uh, server script, there we can use the flow designer. For example, business rule, um, script action, all those cases we can use this flow designer. Even you can use that in inbound email actions. We'll come that point. Next, the schedule. So as we know that, as I said that, like uh, it is used for the background scripting or the server scripting, the schedule job also or schedule um, uh, any scripting is also part of this flow designer. You can schedule particular actions, particular flow for daily, periodically or certain time and you can run that. And then the most, um, the integration hub, like service now is known for the automation and there are many integrations are present for the service now. So installing integration hub and there are many out of box spoke with the help of out of box spoke, we can integrate with third party application called Jira, Slack and there are n number of application are there we can integrate with that help of integration hub. Also I will show you that how the flow designer looks like and what are the components are there under the flow designer. So if you see that this is the brand new service now instance and here if you have admin access in the left navigation you can search with that flow designer. So if you are running that flow designer first time or if you are using the flow designer first time you can directly search with the flow designer. If you see this flow designer, this module fall under process automation. So if you type either process automation or the flow designer, this will be shown like flow designer. If you click here, it will open a new UI page which contains the all these flow details. Again, this flow designer loading um, during the load, it takes some little time and extra bandwidth. So keep patient and uh, let open this flow designer page. So right now I am in the Vancouver release and who already seen the flow designer page, you can see there are little changes in the flow designer pages and there are many more options added into the flow designer. The first thing is the flow. We'll discuss this, all this component later even. So this is the flow. Here we have the subflow. Then we have actions and then we have the execution. And then we have the connection which is mainly designed for the integration or integration hub. So at that moment, we need the flow, we need the subflow, we need the actions and then execution. So these are the component or four tab we needed at that moment. I'll show you or I'll open a flow sample flow to show you that how the flow designer looks like that. So here, if I search with that, for example, I am searching that incident there will, I mean, I want to open the incident flow to explain you or to show you the simple one. And let's say that I'm opening that last one, for example. Okay. So if you see that, the first thing we have the trigger condition like when this flow should be triggered. So flow will be triggered based on certain condition. 
and we have various action so this action will do different different job so one action have a one job per action have per job some action job is to collect the data some action have job to post some message some action uh, is job to delete some data so this is how this works so in short the flow designer have three component. The first component is the trigger. Second component is the actions. And then third component is the flow logic. So flow logic is like a based on which conditions. Let's say that if the incident state is resolved, then only we want to post a message. If the incident state is in progress, I don't want to post the message. So this will be a conditional block. So we can put a condition, we can put the action, we can put the trigger. And as I said that each action have a separate part or separate task to do that. Now, the next question is that how the flow designer can be activated. So by default service now activated the flow designer in your system. You don't need to do any action for that. So by default in your system, the flow designer will be activated. You can start using that. But before you move this flow designer to the production, make sure you check with that your accounts team that how many actions or execution permissions or quota you have for the service now instance. So that's it for today. In our next upcoming video, we'll discuss about how we can create a new flow designer for the simple catalog item. And we'll discuss further more all these flow designer related topic one by one.